President Trump, yes, I'm saying that, he's already signed executive orders to abandon the big trade deal that we talked about, known as TPP. He also signed another order paving the way for repealing Obamacare, and yet another aimed at cutting back on regulations. He could pick up the pen next to crack down on immigration. And also, just today, he pledged to cut corporate tax rates in half. Well, it certainly will be an active first 100 days. And we also mentioned, Dominic, the Supreme Court pick. They're saying by the end of next week, uh, we may even get that name. Tell me what you think uh, will go a long way to saying how this term will go for this president with what he'll do or not do in the first 100 days. Passing an infrastructure plan or getting it underway and showing that you have the votes in Congress to make it happen. That's something that I believe, Richard, will make the American people go, okay, let's give this guy a chance. Right now, he's on a collision course and something has to give. I respect my colleagues. I respect you. You guys are being diplomatic about this whole thing. <laughs> he is on a head-on collision course with Sean Spicer, who's going to be the first one to take... I don't think Mr. Spicer knows he's going to be the first one to walk the plank. It's not going to be the president. It's going to be him. Buddy, you got to go. Good luck. And, and But ultimately, it's going to turn to the president. It, I don't mean to sound critical, but I know I am. It's, this is part of the Trump illusion. The, it's going to be a very active 100 days. I'm delivering for the American people. We'll see. How about you? Prediction. I don't know what he's going to do. He... he uh, <laughs> He said he wants term limits for members of Congress. Well, the Congress said they're not interested in that. He said he wants to build a wall. Uh, nobody's talking about that as their number one priority. He says he wants to um, uh, eliminate money for the UN for climate change programs. He says he wants to um, well, let me ask you a question. do all kinds of let crazy things. Let me ask you things. a question. Infrastructure, like Dom says. You serve many terms with these folks. Yeah. The fiscal conservatives who believe in pay go and you know no blank checks here. We're gonna we're gonna finally be fiscal hawks and all the rest. The practice he's talking about is gonna cost with a T for trillions. Okay, at least what he's talking about here. And even you know with some of the windfall, if you cut tax rates and have people bring back the funds, it's not gonna cover it. Will Republicans make him do the math and show how he's gonna make this cash neutral or no? They're going to try to show it to him because folks like my well, they friend, go along with it my, like my friend Paul Ryan, who's a very strong fiscal conservative in the Freedom Caucus in the House, although uh, I'm friendly with him, I don't share their ideology. They're going to bristle at expanding the deficits and the national debt. And the way President Trump is talking about cutting the corporate income tax rate in half and other kinds of things like that, those things cost money. And Repealing spend more Obama defense can, too, yeah. will cost money, and he's not yet, yet shown where that money's going to come from. Mm. And that's going to be the source of a great disagreement Will they go along within with the Republican Party. To be seen. OK. Make a prediction. Sound like McLaughlin. <laughs> Jane, Jane. Yeah. Uh, what do you think, John? I think on the plus side, as Dominic mentioned, infrastructure, I think cutting governmental regulation, I think re revising the tax plan. If you could do those things, I think those would be seen as positives. On the very dark side, I think we may see him overturn DACA. And I think those 700,000 young men and women who came out of the shadows in good faith may be put back there. And whether he moves into a deportment, I don't think he will, but I do think he is going to try to overturn DACA. And I think that is going to be seen as one of the darkest moments of the administration. Because let's not forget, immigration is what he ran on, primarily the wall, but also this issue of closing the borders. And he wants to overturn what President Obama has done. And DACA was one of the president's lar largest and most important achievements. These are young people who came over as yep. babies and were brought here and have lived their whole lives here in this country. It is their country. So when we talk about they the dreamers came out and of the, the Dream Act is what we're talking and about. And now yep. they're going to be put back there. And that's a huge fear. If you think uh, we saw rallies uh, last weekend, you can see a whole bunch more across the country. I think you might even find, to Jeannie's point, some really interesting allies, like people in the agricultural community and all the rest here, um, who might say who's going to work the crops. Um, to me, I, I think that there is a real battle going on um, within his inner circle. I, I can't believe that Priebus signed up for some of the stuff that we've seen in just the last 72 hours. Conversely, I can't see Bannon taking any directives from Priebus, and I don't know where Kushner is. I think they got to figure out in the Game of Thrones who's got the ear of a guy who doesn't seem to want to do it. And Pence, they, they, you know, 
I don't know how long they can have so many competing messages with so many cons competing constituencies because <laughs> um, pretty soon this stuff counts, yeah. you know? Because Donald Trump doesn't have a particular ideology, he's going to be torn between wanting to be popular and well-liked uh, versus the ideology of the Republican yep. Party, which is not akin to what he wants to do. It will be uh, at least this much not boring. Um, and I thank you all for uh, helping me make sense out of the nonsensical. All right, coming up next here. We could have a big storm here uh, that'll be hammering our area. Up next, we'll be tracking the Nor'easter so you know what to expect and prepare for.